Hey everybody, Young and Hard here, and welcome back to part 4 of Rust. Now, we've figured out how to use the furnace. What you need to do is when you use it... There we go. So now it's it's lighting now. You need to actually put the, fu uh, the fuel in. I didn't think of that. But, now that we have, we can chuck that in there. And we should start seeing metal fragments come soon. Whoa! Whoops. And the other thing is, I now have a nice metal hatchet. I used what metal fragments I had. So this does more damage, and it gathers resources a little bit faster than the stone hatchet. So that's going to take quite a while for the metal to be done. I don't want to hang around here for the whole thing, but I don't want to leave it alone as well. So all it's going to take is one greedy son of a bitch to come and steal my precious metal, and I'm dying of hunger. Whoops. Need to have something to eat. There we go. Whoops. Okay, so let's see how it's doing so far. There we go, we got 28 metal fragments. Ooh, 38, jeez. That's a lot of metal fragments. So what we can start doing now is I'm going to take the metal fragments I already have in here. And we are going to see how much it takes to create a metal door. 200, holy oh, crap. So we have nowhere near enough. <laughs> I thought we were going to have close to it, but no. Alright, so while that's happening, I'm going to gather some more wood. Oop. There is a zombie. Where'd it go? Why the fuck? Here, yeah, zombie, zombie, zombie. Here, yeah, zombie. Where did it go? Alright, so we'll gather some stone while we're waiting. And we're getting even more metal! Excellent. I'm sure this is great for the axe. <laughs> Just hitting a rock. So that's collected. Let's get back down. Oh, there's another one. Damn it. Episode 1. So hard to find stone. Episodes 2, 3, 4. Can't get enough of them. Alright. And we got wood as well. Jeez. So you see now I'm getting 10 pieces of wood as opposed to the normal um, 7. I might want to turn this fire off as well, because that's going to be a beacon to everybody. Hey, someone's over here. Come get our stuff. <laughs> Alright, so at least we're getting a lot more metal. We've got 109 now, so we've almost got enough for the door. How much wood have we got? So we've got 190 as well. Jeez. We got lots of wood. So yeah, the trick is to find those big resource piles. You're going to get a lot more uh, resources for your time out of those. Alright, so we 
got some wood. So all this metal that we're making is going to go towards the metal door, and then any remainder I'm going to keep and try and make a gun. Because we have got a lot. Okay. So there's some zombies down there. resource piles over here. I don't want to risk facing those zombies yet. Just quickly gather this stuff and get back to the camp. Okay, open. More metal inside there. Da-da and ta-da. Alright, so we nearly got enough. Okay. So right now, I'm going to have some chocolate, so I have some food. I like chocolate. Alright, so chocolate. There we go. I actually make some med packs while I'm here with the cloth. And the furnace has stopped, which means we need more fire. There we go. Alright, 34 more. So there's our bandage. Just so that in case I do come across some zombies, I don't bleed to death again. That was a bad mistake last time. I'll create one more just in case. Alright, so we've got my shotgun. I need 10 low quality metal for that. I don't know how to make ammo for it though, that's the only thing. Hmm. So we're safe in making a 9mm, which needs low qual five low quality metal. Which means, how much low quality metal? We need about 90 metal fragments, okay. Make gunpowder, we need charcoal, we've got, and sulfur ore, we've got as well. And that's metal fragments, okay. So we'll have more than enough. Okay, so we're going to start taking away this door. our middle one which was almost done. Sadly this takes forever so No one comes and thinks I'm breaking in. This is my house. If 
only I was able to dual wield axes. <laughs> Make this go along so much faster. Finally break this freaking door down, oh my god. Should break down soon. There we go, okay. So we got the metal fragments to do this now. Let's create a metal door. Requires a workbench. Okay, where's a workbench? I did not know that. So we'll make a workbench. Damn, 30 seconds for it. It's lucky it didn't take enough time because, like, I was very close to uh, dying of Is hunger. Is anybody there. in the shack? I gotta get rid of some shit. Oops, someone moved. Oh, hey. Hello. You? Hello. Young at heart. How you going, mate? Uh, uh, not bad, mate. Just recording for YouTube at the moment. What are you good. doing? Uh, I got, I'm gonna get rid of some crappy moment so I can grab that rock over there. Do you want some guns? Nah, nah, mate. I'm fine. Well, they're there on the ground if you want them, anyway. I figure I'd drop them for you. Uh, Alright, thanks, Ace, mate. Right, okay... Hopefully that guy doesn't kill us. Now we got a workbench. Let's make this goddamn metal door. What did he put down here? I've got. Did he give me a gun? Holy crap, he did. I feel bad for being rude to that guy now. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Alright, let's put the door there. I might go find that guy and apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna eventually put my door down, jeez. The door does not seem to want to go in. Did I somehow make a mistake? No. Hmm. Is 
this door just does not want to go in. Yeah, well, it's too high. Ah. Okay, I need to quickly make a wooden door then, because otherwise we might die. door back out. Put that one. Oh no, this doesn't want to go in. What? Do, is, is this the problem? Little door frame piece here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I should be able to put the door down now. Should. That is the key point here. No! Oh, wait! Ta-da! Metal door. Excellent. I need to apologize to that person. That was quite scary. I, I, I honestly thought that guy was going to jump in, out and fucking kill me. I'm glad he didn't, but yeah. Okay. Whew. Slightly scary. So I have a P150. I don't know what ammo it takes. Does it take. Maybe nine millimeter ammo. Yes, excellent. This thing takes nine millimeter ammo. All right, we are in business. So now that we got that, I might actually start making some bullets. Let's go. Nine millimeter. It's gonna take seven seconds. All right. Okay, guys. So now that we've got our ammunition, we've got our gun, I think, thank you very much to that person, whoever it was. I really feel horrible now for doing that. I honestly thought he was going to kill me, like, he, he pointed a gun at us. <laughs> like, now I know he was just trying to get it out of his inventory, but he was pointing it at us, I thought he was going to kill me. For sure. You know what? I do not need this wooden door anymore. So, hasta luego, wooden door. I created you for nothing. So this episode could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> we were very close to losing everything. You 
know what, we're going to chuck some sulfur in there as well, because we need to actually start making gunpowder now. So sulfur, thank you, and thank you. There we go. So we might try this trick, so we're going to split it, and here, and here. There we go. Alright. So now that we've got our little workbench, we've got our furnace and everything else, I'm going to end the episode here. So if you liked the episode, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, thumbs up for that guy that gave you two guns. That's awesome. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!